The majestic dome of St. Paul still dominates the skyline, but beneath it, the Occupy London camp is stealing its thunder and threatening to become a permanent feature of the landscape. As well as some protest first timers, there are veterans here from climate camp and some who've come virtually straight from Dale Farm. If you're doing nothing, you can do something. It's highly organized. Twice daily meetings, they're running a bookshop and information center, and they're about to set up a website streaming daily footage. Operating in a way St. Paul's is no longer able to do, costing it more than £20,000 a day. This is becoming an increasingly high-profile and polarising protest. The latest reports today were claiming that at night, 90% of these tents are empty as the protesters go home to a warm and dry bed. But everyone we've been speaking to today denies that. They say the tents are full and what's more, they'll be full for many months to come. But when they say full, clearly they don't mean every minute of every evening. You go away maybe one night in the last week, you say, and other people are coming and going, yes? Well, sometimes people have to go and feed their cats and stuff like that. So and if they live a little bit further out, there's no chance of them being able to get back. But I'm sure if they could, they would. But you do have to look after animals and things like that. The problem, I suppose, is for a lot of people, they think, you know, this is either a permanent protest camp or it isn't. It's not, you know, if people are coming in and out and, and only being here during the day. It's that's actually not, a bit of a lie. That's definitely not the situation. There's a brilliant spirit here and we're here day and night. As the days go by, this protest causes more problems for the authorities, the City of London Corporation and the church. No one from either institution was available to comment today. We understand no one wants to jeopardise the legal action, which now looks inevitable. The Lord Mayor's show, we've got Remembrance Sunday, all the events leading up to... However, the Conservative MP Mark Field was out and about today, trying to get his message across to the protesters, that enough's enough. It was a valid uh, weekend of protests that we had the weekend before last, uh, and it isn't just, I suspect, the usual suspects well, if here. A but, if but, a protest is valid for one day or two days, then it's always valid, isn't well, it? Well, no, uh, th th but there's making a protest and there's having a, a semi-permanent encampment. I'm very proud that we have a tradition in this country of open protest. It's a very much a very modern part of democracy. This is a very modern tradition of protest. They don't want to do it just for 24 hours. They've decided they want to stay. What, yeah. what should well, be done about it? There are many rights that Londoners have and tourists have to be able to get into the cathedral and to be able to, to, to uh, walk in what is the open highway. I mean, the reality is it is probably going to be a protracted legal process. Whether the protesters stay all night in their tents or not, they're certainly bedding down for a lengthy stay.